I am back with another iPad video. I'm kind of surprised you guys are loving these videos as much as you are, but I've seen a lot of questions getting asked about how I made my iPad planner its own individual app. So I thought I would give you a little tutorial on how I did that. To make this work, you have to have your iPad planner already downloaded on your iPad. I, of course, use the daily iPad planner, but make sure that this is in good notes. The easiest way I figured out how to do this is to just take a screenshot of your iPad cover. And then we're gonna go in and just crop that to be like a square. It does not need to be perfect. And then you save that. Okay, I'm going to temporarily move this so I can show you. And then you're gonna search Shortcuts app, which your iPad should have that downloaded already. It's just like an Apple app. And then you're gonna go up here and you're gonna press add. You're going to scroll down to Good Notes, and then you're going to do Pick Out the Planner. Then you're going to go up here, and you're going to press this and change the name. So I'm just going to name this 2025 Daily. You can name it whatever you want. Then you're going to press this right here and add to home screen. And then you're going to press this. It's in the way. Choose photos. Grab that screenshot that we took. Zoom in a little bit more use that's what it's going to look like and then you're going to press add and there's the one we just did so then you can move this over to your home screen and then how it works it just opens up to your latest used page if i was to have this open and then exited out of it and did whatever and then go back it's going to open up that page and i'm pretty sure you can do that with any app but it just makes it so much easier to get to um and that's how i also did like google calendar notes gmail all of those 